The matrix or rating scale question is like a grid where you can rate multiple statements using the same set of answer choices. So if you have a few statements that you want people to rate using the same scale, it's a superb question to use. And when using a mobile device, each statement is shown separately so your questions always look great for people taking your survey. Let's dig in a bit further. After you've added your question to your survey, type your overall question text at the top. The rows are the statements you want to be rated and show up on the left side of your grid. Try to keep these quite short to make them super easy for your respondents to read. If you add too many rows, there's a risk that people will straight line through your question. This is when respondents click the same answer all the way down to get through the survey more quickly. So we recommend having five rows or less to make sure you get the best data and to make things easier to analyze later on. The columns are your answer choices, which appear at the top of your grid. Again, try to keep this as short as possible to make things easier for your respondents. We also recommend labeling every column. Otherwise, when you view individual responses later, you'll see no label on answers with blank labels. You'd have to come back and label your columns to fix that. Click Use Weights to turn this into a rating scale question where each option is weighted. If the question may not apply to all respondents, add an NA column so they can still answer the question. This isn't weighted so it won't be factored into your average when analysing your results. If you want people to rank all the row items against one another, turn on Forced Ranking. This will make it so that people can only choose each column choice once. The Options tab lets you customise your question even more. For instance, if you do have rows that are quite wordy, they may look a bit cramped in the question. To fix that, click Adjust Question Layout, then change the label width. If you click Require an answer to this question, you can choose how many of the rows you want your respondents to answer. Choose all if you want to make sure they answer all of the rows. When you analyse your results, your question will show a chart with each row having its own bar. If your question was weighted, the chart shows the weighted average. The data chart below shows more detail and the exact weighted average of each row. If you left any columns blank when designing your survey, you'll see no label in that column. To quickly fix this, click the label, edit this label, and then change it to whatever you'd like. And perhaps you don't want to view the NA column. To hide any answer choice, just click it, then click hide and recalculate. We'll remove the choice and recalculate the data. Click show and recalculate if you want to bring it back. Our question had a max weight of 5, but the x-axis goes all the way up to 10. So at first glance, the rating looks a little lower than it actually is. To fix this, click Customize, Display Options, and then change the maximum value of the axis to match the highest weight in the question. 5. Lovely. If you'd rather see the number of people who chose each option instead of the weighted average, change the depth to distribution and change the axis scale to absolute. This can make the chart type look a bit long though. So click chart type to change how your data is displayed. That looks a lot better. 